Hey everyone, welcome to Infinite Realms. Today is a special one. Yes, it is my top 10 figures of the year so far. Or rather, my top 10 favorite figures. Because I'm not objective. And I just admit it. Whereas people say, I'm so objective. Or they say, this person is so objective. You can't be objective in a review because a review in and of itself is an opinion piece. And that's all it is. My prime example is you can put a Roman Reigns figure in front of me. I ain't going to like it. There we go. All right. So in this, um, I'm going to, you know, I've got my guys set up here. And, uh, you know, just put some random figures in the background. I'm trying to avoid putting anything from 2023 in the background there except i think maybe frosta came out this year, year but uh just at the beginning of the year but eh, we'll let that go i just wanted to have somebody from a uh, master's universe in there somewhere so first let me get to some honorable mentions uh when i do the end of the year list which will be much larger uh and i don't know how big of a list i'll have because it'll depend on how many figures i want to put on it but yeah we'll uh we'll expand that a little bit but uh, one honorable mention has to be Orb, just because he exists. Yes, he's massively overused, but I, I just crack up at the fact that they made an Orb figure. It just makes me giddy and giggly inside. Yeah, I said giggly. Leave me alone. <laughs> also, um, again, Indiana Jones, just for existing. Uh, it's not a favorite figure of mine, but I just like having an Indiana Jones in this scale. And that's the only figure I'm planning on getting from the Indiana Jones line. I won't say I won't get a short round, but I'm not betting the on it or anything. And of course, the uh, special deployment series from Valiverse Action Force. It's just re a relief to get the figures you want, even though you miss them the first time around. And that is really comforting, is that, you know, figures you really want, you probably have a chance of getting them. <laughs> I think if I'm reading things from Bobby the way I think I am, he's all about making sure you get what you want. So, bravo on the special deployment series. I got the figures I wanted finally, these characters I really wanted. And Hulk Hogan, Mr. America. <laughs> I just, it's another novelty, you know, it is not the greatest figure of all time or anything, but it's fun that I have it. He, of the ones I've just mentioned, might have a chance in the top whatever I have at the end of the year. So, I mean, just depends on what comes out. I mean, right now I'd have him around number 20 maybe. But, you know, he he's just fun to have and, you know, fun to play around with. So moving on, let's get to the actual honest-to-goodness list. And I, I debated this a lot. It, it, there's a lot of criteria here going on. Um, and I'll get into the criteria as I go. Uh, because the first one uh, really does kind of make the criteria funny. Uh, it is Covert Ops Condor. This is purely for the fun of being able to mail off your your proofs of purchase and get a figure. Uh, you know, it, it, it is fun. It's a nice homage to Daniel Craig uh, in casino royale despite the fact some dumb people think it's chuckles it's a cool figure it, it's a nice different kind of version of condor that um at the same time delivers it's just fun and so yeah he's number 10 on my list number nine aj styles uh ultimate figure one of the first ultimates i've paid full price for uh the reason being is because he is probably my favorite modern uh, wrestler uh, Cody Rhodes mm, is close but AJ Styles definitely is my favorite uh, you know they're probably like almost tied but you know if I had to pick one it would go AJ Styles and this the way this wave of ultimates uh, blew me away because it was like two of my absolute faves in one way which is unusual but uh yeah I had to get AJ he's just cool and I really just liked having a cool AJ Next, and you'll notice a pattern pretty soon here, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, Kali. This one, 
I'm going to be honest, when I saw pictures of him, I didn't like him. And when I got him, I have to admit, I, he won me over. He's got a cool look. I, I was really turned off by the blue of his skin at first. For some reason, I cannot explain that. But then I got to looking at him. And I really love the golds and everything about him. He's, and, you know, finding out he's a bad guy is just like, yeah, okay, he is a bad guy. You could just tell. And, yeah, he just won me over. And, and those are some of my favorite figures are the ones that you think you're not going to like. And you get them. And you absolutely love them. Uh, I could put a whole lot of Animal Warriors of the Kingdom on this. They will probably dominate uh, the list next year. Uh, if I were to guess, just looking at things as they are right now. Number seven, Pandora. I, you know, I mean, collars are in if you want. You don't know what you're talking about. She's a cool figure, has some great details, has a great backstory. It's really cool. I like it. Some people make fun of it. It's like, <laughs> this is like, you know, a kid wrote it. You know, you know whatever, man. You just... Go on. I really like the figure. I think she's a cool figure. She's fun and interesting and an interesting character. So, again, Pandora reaches number seven for me. Number six. I said that wave won me over, and it did. Reza Ramon. I absolutely really enjoyed Scott Hall from AWA to WWF as Reza Ramon. Even in WCW as a diamond stud. All the way up to the NWO in, you know, Scott Hall. I, I just can't say enough about him as an entertainer and as a wrestler. He was one of my top ones. And I followed him everywhere he went. And, of course, you know, we all know what happened. It was sad, but, I mean, nothing's going to take away the joy of being a fan and I could not pass up an Ultimates Razor Ramon. It, it was just, and me, I, I really wanted this attire over the purple. I just remember him wearing these kinds of uh, vests, and it was just like, yeah, absolutely. Number five, Shinari Warrior. I did not know this was an army builder when I got it. I got it purely on the look. I just like the way the red and the blues are and the met metallic. I love the way they do the metallic. Uh, paint jobs I mean it looks metallic and it's not it's just really cool and this guy just looks so cool I'm <laughs> his helmet came off uh, I've got him because I'm redoing my shelves I've got him in a box and it came off in the box and I couldn't find it for this picture so I just decided to put him up there without it and that way you know I'm safe number four eclipse <laughs> and what people have called the sleeper of the wave for uh, the wave three of Valiverse Action Force. I just, she's a cool character, very different. I, I don't care if you, oh, she's Lady J, she has short brown hair. No, if that's your criteria of saying somebody looks like somebody else, you're stupid. I'm just going to say it. Eclipse is a million miles from Lady J. And you just don't know what you're talking about. But I really like Eclipse. She's just a really cool figure, a really cool character. The Shema is just glorious. It's beautiful. Love it. Now, on these next three, I'm just going to say these could pick, you know, these could leapfrog each other very easily. And I changed the order four times. But Alf, uh, it's just a fun, fun figure. I am not a nostalgic guy, but Alf was that much fun. I mean, and it wasn't even nostalgic. It was just fun factor of all the stuff he came with. And just, he was just cool. I mean, it's just cool. I never even really thought of a figure until this came along. And then I saw it and I'm like, oh God, that's fantastic. And I had to have it. Next up. The highest ranking big company figure, Spiral. And, you know, again, people people moan this figure because, oh, it's a little plain, da-da-da. I'm like, dude, that's Spiral. I mean, that's the figure. That's the character. 
I, I'm good with that. Uh, I'm okay. The thing I like is that the arms are all, they all work together and they all work independent. And, you know, you can do a whole lot of things with those arms. And she just looks the part as she should. And that's the most important thing to me is looking the part. So who ends up at number one? Well, that was a tough one, but although I'm not a nostalgic guy, nostalgia did win out in this case, and it might win out for the year. I don't know. I'm, I'm holding to it for right now, but War Duke, just a fantastic upgrade to one of my favorite figures as a kid. And I talk so much about him in the review. It was just, yeah, he won me over so much. And, you know, not I'm not big on all those Dungeons & Dragons figures from NECA. But War Duke, yeah, I was there. I was right there because that was just one of my favorites from that line. And I just really thought they nailed it. It was perfect and it was a great upgrade. And, yeah, I absolutely loved that figure. So, there we are. That's my favorite figures of 2023 so far. Uh, again, I say my favorites, <laughs> you know. And, you know, my major criteria was I had to get this before um, June 30th. So... That was a, you know, I, that's why I wait down to the wires because, you know, I, I don't know how I'm going to feel about something until I get it. I mean, I've been disappointed. I've been surprised. Kali's a good example of a surprise. Uh, Power Town's a good example of a disappointment. But either way, I mean, you find that, you know, in this action figure collecting game that, you know, there's some things to be found and some things to be you wish you never found, but uh, I will say I think Action Force and uh, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom are going to be a big amount of the list at the end of the year. We'll see what happens, but and of course this can change at any moment. I I reserve that right because you know my opinions will change. I that happens. Uh, this <laughs> this top ten could be completely out of order come December, but that's okay. All right, well, that's going to wrap up Infinite Realms for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe.